G'day guys, Skyler Stardrift here. I'm just a dragon that plays video games. And welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we sure showed Gruntilda what for, didn't we? But there's still a few things that we can pick up. So, in this episode of Banjo-Kazooie, we will be picking up a few more items and doing a few other things as well. So let's start drifting by exiting Grunty's lair. The first thing we want to do is in Spiral Mountain. Also, I like how the rock is there. <laughs> the rock that crushed Grunty is still there. <laughs> she is well and truly gone for good. So our first little secret entails us going back to Banjo's house at the very start of the game. And if we jump in... And if we... I don't know, look at this fireplace. I said if we... I don't know, look at this fireplace. Here we go. Well, hey, you found my secret moving picture game. Complete this puzzle and you can win a mystery prize. It better be good, Soil Brain. Do I get some new moves? Uh, maybe. Now watch this. Here we go! Use the left stick to move Banjo's hand. Press A to pick up and put down pieces and X to return them to the side or the right stick to rotate them. We've got 99 seconds to do this and I'm already goofing it up. As with any good puzzle, you would probably be best at sticking in all the outside pieces first. You can kind of tell where each piece goes, but don't be too surprised if you don't get it. These puzzles are not excruciatingly easy. So they're not always going to be this easy, unfortunately. Oops. Told ya. <laughs> Alright, so the rest should be just edge pieces, I think. Except for that one in the middle there. Almost spot on in the middle. There we go! Done! Hey, you did it! It was easy, Beetle Breath. What do we win? Listen carefully and I'll tell you. Use the tiles on the floor of the sandcastle in Treasure Trove Cove to spell the word Bottles Bonus 1. And Bottles Bonus 1 will give us... You can also try level 2 of my game if you like. Just look at the picture again. We will do that. Bottles Bonus 1 gives us... All right, so bottle bonus one gives us ban gives Banjo a big head. Let's try level two. I'm game. Let's do this. Okay. This one's going to be a little bit harder, I think. Now they're actually alluding to Banjo Kazooie here. Because Banjo Kazooie uses a very similar gimmick to open all the levels. In order to open the next level of each. W well, in order to open the next level, I should just say. You will basically be required to fill out a puzzle. So this is alluding to Banjo Kazooie a little bit. Or Banjo Tooie a little bit. But hey, it's a little bit of fun. It's an interesting and cool minigame. Doesn't take you very long, so if you can find where the darn pieces actually go. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am terrible at doing jigsaw puzzle pieces. Or well, jigsaw puzzles, I should say. Uh, excuse me, apparently that doesn't go there. I thought those up there were my last two pieces, I was gonna say. And then I looked down and I was like, oh wait, no, I've got more pieces over here. <laughs> Fortunately, you should have plenty of time to finish them. Done!
Yippee, that's it. Now go and enter the word Bottles Bonus 2 on the Sandcastle floor. Bottle Bonus 2 grants us... Well, grants Banjo big feet and big hands. So let's try level 3! This one's going to be a bit tougher, I think. Some of the pieces are rotated. All right. Not only are they rotated, they're also in random places. Ah, this one's going to be tough. If I could find the corner pieces, that would probably be a bit of a help. That one's not rotated. That one's on the bed. That one's down on the floor. Right, so I found the corner pieces. Ah. That one's there and not rotated. That one's gotta be rotated. Okay. One's there. That one's up there. Ugh. I told you I'm terrible at jigsaws, but... Now, I've done these before myself, but... Not on this save file, and I think it's going to take me a minute to get this one. Ah! Tough luck, guys. You're out of time. Why not try again? Cut ahead to when we actually beat this level, because this is going to be irritating. See you guys in just a moment. Yesu! Oh, just made it! Well, enough's going. Try the word Bottles Bonus 3 this time. That gives Kazooie a big head. Go on. Give level 4 a go. I don't know. I think I'm just about done, Bottles. Great. Another freaking dark area. I think I'm just about freaking done with this. I don't think I can take much more, to be honest. Ah! Kapow! Did it! Okay! Easy, huh? No! You can now go and see what the word Bottles Bonus 4 does. It gives Banjo a skinny body and a small head. Hey, level 5 is waiting for you. Oh, God. Another dark area! Ah ha 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 harg. Shazam! Pick it up, pick it up, put it in, put it in! Thank you! How did I end up with 26 seconds left? Core, I'm impressed. Go and try Bottles Bonus 5. Bottles Bonus 5 gets us... Gives Banjo a skinny body, a small head, a big hand, and big feet. Okay then. Now we got one more. Let's do it to it. Another dark room, for Pete's sake. Right, I can see that one there. That one is there. Ugh, this is terrible. Who designed this and thought it was okay? Ah. Pitfall. Okay, whatever. Oh, it's got ginger. Why do I feel like that's on the side? Because it is! Haha! That was a lucky guess. That was a, that, that was a lucky guess too. That one was an easy one, because the ghost was in the way. Thank you, ghost! You have highlighted everything! 
except for where this piece goes. There it is. One goes on the side, that one goes down the bottom by the looks of it. And up the top. Wow! <laughs> well, I didn't think anyone would do that one. Well done. Here's your last prize. It's Big Bottle's bonus. <sighs> uh, I've got no more games left for you to play now. Ha! Huh, fooled you. I've got one really special prize left. Let's see you do this one, Feather Face. I'm ready, Goggles. Here we go. So that one got us... Jeez. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the previous one, because I forgot to mention it, that one's got us... Gives Banjo a skinny body, big head, big hands, big feet, and gives Kazooie a big head. Then we've got this puzzle. Fortunately, it's not... Oh, this is a corner piece. Fortunately, this isn't in a uh, darkened area, so it's a bit easier, but all of it looks the bloody same. Woohoo! Ha! Suck it, bottles, you piece of crap! Hey, you must have cheated to do that. <laughs> no way, Bug Slapper. Now hand over the special prize. Oh, very well. Enter the code Wishy Washy Banjo for some good, clean fun. And that turns Banjo and Kazooie into a washing machine. Mumbo's failed transformation. Well, that was a lot of fun. 48 minutes later. My God. All right. The trouble is I'm not sure how much of that I'm actually gonna keep, probably not a lot, so. All right, I'll meet you back up at Grunty's Lair. There's still some more stuff that we can do, but that is the majority of the painstaking bit. This bit is easy now. Well, I hope so. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. Actually, I think we'll see you guys in Treasure Trove Cove for our first extra piece of information. And welcome back to Treasure Trove Cove. Okay, immediately I think we just need to zip around you. I have forgotten where this place actually is. I'm pretty sure it's over here. I want to say it's around here. Here we go. Now I think what's his... Oh, what's his face is gonna come after us. Yeah, Snacker. All right. If we climb all the way up here. All the way up here. Don't worry, I think this is the only puzzle we actually have to solve for doing these. <laughs> All the way up here, jump up here, we'll find a pink egg. Ooh, an egg. Well, that's one of the seven stop and swap items we've been looking for. I reckon it'll unlock something special in my Nuts and Bolts adventure. Can't wait. So, the stop and swap stuff was never really implemented in Banjo-Kazooie. It was supposed to be implemented as a way to swap out the Nintendo 64 cartridges. But unfortunately, the idea fell flat on its face due to hardware limitations and never was, was never really made. Although, 
you can still access the stop and swap items in either the Xbox Live Arcade version or on the Nintendo 64 version. The Nintendo 64 version requires some cheat codes and I'll be reading those out at the end of the episode because there are a lot of other cheat codes that we can get as well. So I'll read out what those do at the end of the episode. As for the Xbox Live Arcade version, all you need to do is make sure you have a save file for Banjo-Tooie or Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. That's it. Alright, so our next destination, I'm not too sure. I'll basically be going through the mansion and seeing what comes up first. I think the next one's in here somewhere, but I'm not sure. Alright, so our next stop is in Gobby's Valley. Which is just over this way, if memory serves me correctly. Hold on! Let's not do a stupid. <laughs> All right. Okay. Gobby's Valley. I know where to go, but I don't know how to get there. Zip. <laughs> I need a flight pad. I need a flight pad. What I need is a flight pad. So let's see if we can find a flight pad. I know what I'm looking for. It's just a matter of finding it. And the best way would probably be from the air. Over that way. Haha. -ha. switch and the sarcophagus opens Wow another one of those special stop and swap eggs hope this isn't a cruel joke and we can actually use them this time ouch jeez all right I'll see you guys at our next destination If I can ever get out of here. Like, magic carpet. Wow, we were actually pretty close. Could have just ridden on the magic carpet. Anyway, we'll see you guys shortly. Alrighty. So, here we are in Mad Monster Mansion. There are actually two swap... There are two stop and swap items we can get in the mansion. And one of them is down here in the cellar. In fact, there was... Yeah, here we go. There was a... One of these... Jeez. One of these barrels had a giant X on it. And if we go through this one, which had the giant X, we will find our next stop and swap item. But that's not the only stop and swap item we can find here in... Frickin... I've already lost the name for it. In Mad Monster Mansion. If we head up this drain pipe... And I believe it's this room, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it, but we'll find out. It is! Haha! -ha! On top of Logo here, we find our next stop and swap item, the green egg. With that, we're done in Mad Monster Mansion, so let's head back out and head to our next destination on this fun little tour of previous areas. By the way, if you want to check any of your stop and swap items, I'm pretty sure you just need to... No? It's game total.
There we go. So we're missing the red and yellow eggs as well as the ice key. So you just have to keep on hitting right to get to the total screen for your stop and swap items. That's all you gotta do. Anyway, I'll see you guys at our next at our next stop. Boy, I hope this episode isn't gonna be too long. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be over an hour in length, but thanks to I don't know some stupid short-sighted mole and his stupid bloody puzzles. All right, next destination: Freeze Easy Peak. Let's go. Straight to Woz's cave. Eek! The bear again! Take that not only the orange thing with you and leave but was alone. I didn't even grab it. Cool! An enormous ice key! We should keep this stop and swap item for later. You got that right, Kazooie. Alright, that's all we can get here in Freeze Easy Peak, so I'll see you at our next stop. It just doesn't end, does it? <laughs> Alright, here we are in Rusty Bucket Bay. Ow! Jeez, you guys are still giving me crap. God. All right. Nope. Okay. I don't know which particular hole has the the egg in it, so we'll just have to keep an eye out. As I was saying, the N64 game, you could not obtain these these items without a cheat code. However, in the Xbox Live Arcade version, they are unlocked, but only in certain circumstances. You'll need a save file for either Banjo-Kazooie, for either Banjo-Tooie or Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts in order to obtain them. Alright. That's the red egg, so now it's just the yellow egg. By the way, we returned to the most controversial world. We weren't as dumb with it as I would have hoped. <laughs> as it turns out. Anyway, let's get out of here and go to our final destination, which, believe it or not, is Click Clock Wood. Now, I believe what we want to do is head into winter. And now we need a flight pad. There's one over by Mumbo's hut. And I'm not too sure where else to look for one, really. I mean, there's one on top of here, but I don't think I can make it. Yeah, definitely not if I have to slide like that. Jeez. Okay. Excuse me, camera, can you not? There's a dead plant where our... I mean... There's a dead plant where our Mumbo Token once stood. There's a Mumbo Token where our dead plant once stood. Not that we need it anymore, but... May as well pick it up. Okay. Flight pad is found. Alright, now we've got to find Nabnot's house. And I believe that was... I think I'm a little too high. <laughs> we'll find out. I was a little bit too high, but I wasn't far off the mark, actually. It's just over here. Alright. Sorry, Nabnut, we're breaking and entering for one last time. 
to get one last item. That's it! Hey Banjo, we found all the stop and swap items. Time to ditch the checklist and stash them away for use in Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts. And that's it! We now have everything in this entire game. Just to be on the safe side, let's have a look. Game total, 900, 100, 24, 10 hours and 45 minutes, Jesus. Uh, six honeycomb pieces, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100, yep. That's gonna, all of this is definitely gonna be complete. Game wouldn't have, would have told us otherwise. And we've got all the stop and swap items. So... I don't think it's going to be right if we end the series here. <laughs> huh? Nah, <laughs> we had the energy. <laughs> oh, well, we're going back to the start anyway. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I just want to get out of here. That's all. We've also been recording now for well over an hour, and this is because of the stop and swap items. Well, it's not just because of the stop and swap items, it's mainly because of the whole stupid bloody bottles bonus thing. That took me, like, at least 45 to 50 minutes of this goddamn recording. <laughs> Alright. So let's head back out the Spiral Mountain, and then I'm going to go over those cheat codes. Because this game actually has a lot of cheat codes that you can enter here, or enter in the castle. Actually, should I go in the castle? No, nah, that's going to be too much work. I don't know. I'm not sure where I should go to put these codes up, but I'll just go back outside. <laughs> we'll just go back out the Spiral Mountain, why not? That's going to be easier than going in the treasure trove cove again. And then I dare say we will wrap this series up by looking at all the codes we can grab. Alright, I'm just going to park Banjo in front of his own house. We can end the adventure here. But the game's gonna be mean and not swing the camera around, so... We'll park it where the adventure began, why not? Alright. So now it's time to go over those codes, so let's have a look. Kaboof! I've got the whole list here, so excuse me if it sounds like I'm gonna be reading off of a list, but there's so many codes. I'll see if I can put them all up on the screen, but... Don't bet on anything. Come on, codes load. The internet's broken, so I can't look up the codes. Are you serious? Of course, there had to be one more thing that went wrong with this goddamn series, and it was the frickin' internet breaking. No, it's not gonna load them. Right. Mobile phone. Be right back. Okay, now it's gonna work. Now, on the thread of my phone, it's gonna work. Okay. Alright, so we know the Cheeto spells, but the following are the stop and swap spells. Now, these were the spells for the stop and swap items, which we've already found here, but in case anybody's playing along in the Nintendo 64 version and wants to pick them up, these are the codes. Now you can see a nice ice key, which you can have for free. That unlocks the ice key, obviously. Out of the sea, it rises to reveal more secret prizes. That's the pink egg. The pink egg, rather. A desert door opens wide. Ancient secrets wait inside. Unlocks the blue egg. Don't you go and tell her about the secret in her cellar. Unlocks the light blue egg or the cyan egg. I'm not sure how you pronounce that word anyway. Uh. Almost, 
the 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 <laughs> admits the haunted gloom a secret in the bathroom unlocks the green egg this secret you'll be grabbing in the captain's cabin unlocks the red egg and now banjo will be able to see it on nabnut's table unlocks the yellow egg we've already done and covered the bottles bonus cheat codes as well as the well we've done a fair bit but now on to some more extra bits like we've covered the blue eggs red feathers gold feathers and we've also recovered the refills on them in grunty's lair that was located in grunty's lair next to ding pot but did you know there was actually some cheats to provide you with infinite of those items these cheats are as follows now to enter the following cheats all of them you're going to need to put the word cheat at the front of the cheat so s h e a t that also goes for the stop and swap items guys so just bear that in mind cheat banjo begs for plenty of eggs infinite blue eggs cheat now you can fly high in the sky infinite red feathers cheat a golden glow to protect banjo infinite gold feathers cheat lots of goes with many banjos infinite lives cheat don't be a dumbo go see mumbo infinite mumbo tokens and cheat give the bear lots of air infinite air supply when you're underwater you can also activate the double energy bar by entering the following code cheat and energy bar to get you far which is what we've already got which is when you get like all the jiggies in the game basically you can also open the note doors early as well these are as follows Cheat, these go right on through note door two. Opens note door number two. Cheat, note door three, get in for free. Opens note door number three. Cheat, take a tour through note door four. Opens note door four. Cheat, use this cheat to cheat. Note door five is beat. Opens note door five. Cheat, this tricks used to open note door six. Opens note door six. And cheat, the seventh note door is now no more. Opens note door seven. Now, before I go any further, I have, I've got to admit something. I've never tried any of these codes. I'm just reading what I found on this tablet. So I've not tried any of these codes. I've never needed them and I probably never will, but don't blame me if they're not right. <laughs> so just like the note doors, you can also open the worlds early. Interestingly enough, the first cheat code for this is cheat this comes in handy to open somewhere sandy. Opens treasure trove cove. How and why? Like, wouldn't you need to get to treasure trove cove anyway to enter these codes in? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, it exists. Cheat, there's nowhere danker than in with clanker to open clanker's cavern. Cheat, now into the swamp. You can stomp. Opens bubble gloop swamp. Cheat, the jiggy's done, so off you go into Freezy Peak and it's snow. Opens Freezy Easy Peak. Cheat, Gobby's jiggy is now done. Trek on in and get some sun. Opens Gobby's Valley. Cheat, the jiggy's now made whole into the mansion you can stroll. Opens Mad Monster Mansion. Cheat, why not take a trip inside Grunty's Rusty Ship. Opens Rusty Bucket Bay. Cheat, this one's as good as you can enter the wood to open Click Clock Wood. You can also use cheat codes to activate the switches and obstacles. Cheat, both pipes are there to Clanker's lair. Raises the two pipes by Clanker's cabin. Cheat, you'll cease to gripe when up goes a pipe. Raise the big pipe by Clanker's cabin. Cheat, once it shone but the long tunnel grill's now gone. Open the passage near Clanker's cabin leading to Bubble Gloop Swamp's puzzle, picture puzzle. Cheat, she's an ugly bat, so let's remove her grill and hat. Opens the grill inside the giant witch statue near Bubble Gloop Swamp. Cheat, it's your lucky day as the ice ball melts away. Remove the ice cube blocking the freeze easy peak picture puzzle. Cheat, they cause trouble, but now they're rubble. Remove all breakable walls. I don't know where or what they would be. Cheat, webs stop use your play, so take them away. Remove the cobwebs that block passages. Cheat, Grunty will cry, now you smashed her eye. Smash the Grunty statue's eye, close to Freeze Easy Peak. Cheat, you won't have to wait, now there's no crypt gate. Remove the gate that blocks the way to the crypt near Mad Monster Mansion. Cheat, this should get rid of the crypt coffin lid. Remove the lid of the coffin in the crypt. Cheat, up you go without a hitch up to the water level switch to raise the water level near Rusty Bucket Bay. 
Cheat the grill goes boom to the ship picture room. Open the grill blocking the Rusty Bucket Bay picture puzzle. And cheat, don't despair, the tree jiggy podium is now there. Make the click clock wood jiggy podium appear. Also, with all these codes that have the word cheat in front of them, if you activate them Xbox Live Arcade, on the Xbox Live Arcade version, the game will disable saving and it will also remove your points from the leaderboard or remove your score from the leaderboard. So just bear that in mind too. You can also activate the special pads early. Now these would be the flying pad and the shock jump pad. Interestingly enough, they're both located in freaking whatchamacallit anyway. They're both located in Treasure Trove Cove anyway. So again, what's the point? But regardless, Cheat, you won't be sad. Now you can use the fly pad to activate the flight pad. And finally, the last cheat of the game that I know of anyway, is cheat, you'll be glad to see the shock jump pad. Activate the shock jump pad. And with that, that's all the cheat codes. Holy hell, there's a lot. <laughs> and now we've been recording for an hour and 23 minutes according to this tablet. So I think that is a great stopping point. With all that covered, I'm pretty sure we've done everything we can possibly do in Banjo-Kazooie now. So, with all that said and done, I guess we'll see you guys on the flop side when we take on another game. Hopefully not as... puzzle as this one, because jigsaw puzzles are a problem and I hate jigsaw puzzles. Let's hope that the next game that I play doesn't have jigsaw puzzles, because I think I'm done with jigsaw puzzles for about a year. <laughs> See you guys on the flop side. Catch you then, and thanks for watching.